Hey guys, what's going on? This is Seth from the RE Tipster blog. Wanted to show you a quick trick here in Google Earth. Uh, if you're ever in a position where you need to provide or find measurements for a property, say if you're not sure the dimensions of it, if you want to know how many feet of road frontage or lake frontage or whatever frontage it has, there's a really cool uh, tool in Google Earth that allows you to do this without much headache. And I'll show you how it works here. I'm kind of picking a spot at random here. So this is a development that I know about that has some houses in it and there's still a lot of vacant lots. And let's say for example, if we wanted to get some dimensions on this house right here. Say we wanted to just know how many feet is it from this point of their lots to this point? So how much road frontage do they have? And how long is it from the road all the way to the back of their property? If somebody ever asks you that or if you just wanna know for yourself, Google Earth has this tool up here uh, where you can click on this and then go over here and click on the measurements tab and you can tell it whether you want it to measure the property in miles, yards, feet, inches, kilometers, meters, centimeters. So pretty much wherever you're at in the world, you should be able to find the right type of measurement that you're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and click on feet and click OK. And what we want to do here once we've zoomed in to the point that we can get a pretty good clear shot of this is we take this little crosshair thing and for this particular property, I know that the lot line starts right here on the other side of this sidewalk. It doesn't go all the way to the road. So we're gonna click right here and then drag it all the way over to here. And that tells us right up here, that's approximately 181 feet, or at least the distance between the two points that I just drew is 181 feet. Or say if we wanted to cancel here and start over again, and click this again, go back and hit feet again. And let's say we wanna know what uh, the distance is of the road front that they've got. So we could click this and then go over here and click that again. And that's about 102 feet. I would guess that if we got an actual survey on this property, it would probably say exactly 100 feet. And now something we can do once we know what the approximate dimensions are of this side and this side and this side and this side is go ahead and calculate, you know, what is the actual land area of this property? So we can go ahead and open up Google and then just type in something like square footage, acre, calculator, something to that effect. And it will bring up this nice little calculator and say if we knew that this property was 100 feet by 180 feet. Let's open up this little calculator here and just do that math. 100 times 180, 18,000 square feet. So we can go ahead and put this in here. And that tells us that this is 0.41 acres in size. So right there, again, this is not the same as a survey. This is not like 100% accurate, but I would say it's reasonably accurate because it's pretty easy to see where the property lines are just based on where the lawn is mowed. So say if you were looking to buy this house or say if you own this house and you're looking to sell it and you just wanted to find out approximately what the square footage is or what the acreage was of the property or how many feet of frontage it had on any angle, it's really pretty easy to do that with this measurement tool here in Google Earth. You just have to draw the lines. It will tell you what the numbers are and you can go ahead and do the rest of the math and come up with a number. And keep in mind, if you're working with vacant land, like for example, there's a few lots over here. I don't even really know how many lots are there and some more over here. In a case like this, to get a more educated idea, you'd have to go to the county's GIS mapping system and sort of use that as a reference guide. So I've actually got that pulled up right here and this is the exact same subdivision. And as you can see, this actually tells us where the property lines are. And we can get a much better idea for where we would have to start drawing the lines over here in Google Earth. Or if you're really lucky, the GIS mapping system may even have a similar function within it. Or sometimes when you go ahead and click on the property itself, it'll even tell you what the acreage is of each property. So that's another thing to look for. If you're lucky enough to have a county that has a good GIS mapping system like this, you could find an abundance of information there as well. Like for example, I see this one right here says measurement. If I were to go ahead and click on this, not really sure what these things do. Say if I wanted to click on this one, give this a shot, see what it tells me. So I could go ahead and like click right here. Look at that. That's pretty nice. So that's telling me that this is 254.2 feet. Keep going here. It's pretty nice. Looks like this county's got a really good system. It's almost easier than Google Earth. A lot of times these counties will not have such sophisticated systems like this. So if they don't, Google Earth should be able to help you out pretty much anywhere on Earth. You would just have to use the county's mapping system to simply find where the property boundaries are approximately and then sort of translate it over to this and make your drawings here. And I will say 
again, this is not the same thing as a survey. And if you do go down this route of actually trying to make these measurements yourself, if you're just doing it for your own knowledge, that's fine because you know you're not a surveyor and you know that there is probably some margin of error in here. But if you're gonna provide this to somebody else who's looking to buy a property that you're trying to sell, you may just wanna disclose that this is just kind of an approximation and you're not 100% certain. And if they wanna be 100% certain, they would have to get a survey to be absolutely sure of it. But at least you could give them somewhat of an educated guess for what the measurements are. I wouldn't say this is something I have to use on every deal I do, but occasionally I do have questions about distances, especially when the county's website or the data service that I'm using doesn't provide this information. And Google Earth gives you a really easy way to get that pretty quickly. So hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.